Welcome! Today we're going to talk about this lovely 2022 Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive that we have for sale. One fantastic battery electric vehicle. I have one myself. I have a 2019 Model 3 standard range. Uh, I love my Tesla. We do really well with pre-owned Teslas here at Infinity of Tacoma. We sell 5 to 10 a month. We've had hundreds uh, go through our store. Um, and they're amazing products. There's no wonder why these things are so popular. And probably every day you're seeing more and more uh, Tesla's on the road and you might be curious about maybe getting one for your uh, next vehicle Which is an awesome choice quite unlike anything else on the road when I do these videos Usually I can do a walk around video on most gas cars in like five minutes, but Tesla's are just so different. There's completely uh, Out of the box uh, re rethinking of an automobile uh, It's hard for me to cover it in five minutes. I could literally talk for an hour about this one but I won't do it about this one. I have lots of uh, videos on our YouTube page if you want to listen to me talk for Tesla's about hours. You can go there. <laughs> All right, so let's do a quick overview of this one and then maybe we'll take it for a spin around the block because this has a cool acceleration upgrade. So uh, the Model 3 long range pretty much has a lot of standard equipment. Uh, Tesla doesn't really confuse people with dozens of a la carte options. Um, you have a lot of standard equipment already on the Model 3 premium sound system, uh, front and rear heated seats, heated steering wheel. Uh, there are a few optional uh, odds and ends, like the color. Uh, Tesla gives you one freebie color, and then uh, other color choices are usually extra money. I think this shade of black is $1,500 or $2,000 extra color. Then we have these upgraded wheels, that was $1,000. Uh, then we have the acceleration boost upgrade, that was a $2,000 in-app purchase, so you get a software update, and it basically unleashes another 100 horsepower. Uh, from what I hear, uh, the Performance Model 3, the battery and uh, drive units, um, and the electric motors uh, are pretty much the same as uh, a performance Model 3. It's basically software that makes the Model 3 performance faster. Obviously, when you also get a Model 3 performance, you get you know uh, sport, sportier brakes and tires and suspension and things like that. But as far as uh, power and acceleration goes, uh, the uh, electric motors and battery are pretty much identical. So it makes sense where uh, Tesla can you know do a software update and give you an extra 100 horsepower. So zero to 60. 3.7 seconds, usually it's a little, little uh, uh, you know, about four and a half seconds, zero to 60, which is pretty fast in its own right, but zero to 60, 3.7 seconds, you, that's really fast. You're faster than most other cars on the road. That's ridiculously fast. This thing is uh, very safe and efficient, but it's also very, very fast. You'll put a lot of purpose-built sports cars to shame. You have this amazing screen uh, to handle uh, the most of the functionality. Uh, they're, always, they're always doing updates, like uh, update was blind spot cameras or, you know, constantly adding features you have uh, you know Netflix Hulu they're twitch they're adding features there they're adding video games you can get I think a wireless controller like an Xbox style controller to play some of these games some of these games you can just play with your hands or you can some of the driving games you can actually use a steering wheel and brake and accelerator to, to drive the cars in the game pretty cool then you have the silly stuff like the boom box you can talk through the horn you can play music through the horn you have the whoopee cushions all sorts of silly stuff. Some of it's like parlor trick silly stuff. Some of it's actually really cool functional stuff. Very comfortable zero G seats. Some of the most comfortable seats in the business. Really nice color combination on black on black. Uh, we're gonna get the seat panel fixed. Um, uh, and that's another segue. Uh, servicing with Tesla is very easy. Um, in this situation, you don't call Tesla, you just make a service appointment uh, through the app. So I have it scheduled. Um, I have a mobile service person who's actually come to our dealership. I don't even have to take it to Tesla and they're gonna repair that. Hopefully it'll get fixed under warranty, but generally Tesla doesn't gouge you as far as repairs go. Uh, since they're a vertically integrated company, there's not like resellers and franchises and parts distributors. Uh, they tend to be pretty reasonable as what they charge for parts and service. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, uh, in my opinion, I think uh, comparable repairs in a Tesla uh, would be a lot more expensive like uh, if you compared it to like a European luxury vehicle, which a lot of people buy, uh, you know, instead of, I uh, could compare these two. I, I, I can tell you the Tesla Model 3 is probably taking a lot of business away from, you know, BMW, uh, Mercedes, and uh, Audi and Lexus. And, you know, a very spacious interior, very spacious vehicle for its size. Uh, generally, you have more uh, space inside a, a Tesla Model 3 than a comparable gas vehicle just because you're not hampered by the design of, you know, exhaust system, engine, transmission, drive shaft. It's a clean sheet of design, so you have a lot more interior space. Lots of storage back here. I like these all-season mats, and then you have even more storage under there. Also have a power rear lift gate. All right, let's get behind the wheel and take it for a little spin. All right, here we go. We're taking this 2022 Tesla Model 3. 
of acceleration boost upgrade up for a spin. So the first thing you notice when you get behind an EV, when you get behind a Tesla, is how smooth and quiet it is. There's no vibrations from an idling or running engine. You don't feel the shifting gears of a transmission. There's only one gear. And uh, how linear, linear uh, the power delivery is. It's very smooth and a very pleasant way of delivering power. And then the acceleration is an absolute hoot. I love all sorts of cars. I, I mean, obviously I uh, daily drive a Tesla, but I have gas cars myself. I have an Infiniti. I love driving a manual transmission uh, vehicle of a performance engine. It's a great driving experience. Uh, but it doesn't discount the fact that electric vehicles from a performance standpoint can also be very fun. This is like a giant slot car. Have you ever played with those electric slot cars when you were a kid? Um, this is basically what this thing is. It's a big, big, big giant slot car that uh, it's, it's like your own personal amusement park ride. When you step into acceleration, when you step on the accelerator, uh, just the instant throttle response, the neck snapping acceleration, especially from a, a, a dud stop, it's not comparable with any uh, gas car. It's it's completely different. They both can be fun. But uh, electric vehicles, obviously, for daily commuting, they start to show their advantages as far as, you know, efficiency, the money that you save, uh, you know, charging of electricity versus having to pay for gas. Um, and then maintenance. Uh, there's a lot less maintenance on an electric vehicle versus a gas car. There's no you know, major services to do that. You don't have to do a differential service, uh, you know, EFI service, induction services. Uh, there's no timing belts that you have to change at 60 or 90,000 miles. There's no coolant flush. Um, there's no oil changes, <laughs> no spark plugs, no uh, catalytic current converters of steel, no emission control systems that can fail. Um, you know, uh, a gas car has thousands of moving parts and gas cars have become so complex uh, over the years. I mean, think about, you know, car, a gas car is from the 50s. You look inside the engine bay, it's very simple. Uh, but, you know, with emissions and, you know, trying to eke out as much power and efficiency out of a vehicle. And, you know, we have these uh, complex infotainment systems and stuff. There's a lot of wiring and tubes and complexity to vehicles. You can't work on them anymore. It's almost the, the work on a car these days it's almost like you have to be a doctor it's like almost performing surgery uh, when I see these techs you know in our service department you know pulling an engine out of a you know a twin turbo you know q50 red sport that's a, there's a lot of complexity there not this kind of the fact that those are fantastic vehicles but when you compare it to an electric vehicle with only dozens of moving parts versus thousands it's just uh, straight economics I mean it's uh, there's this when you, when you have thousands of moving parts you have thousands of moving parts that can fail versus dozens of moving parts is a lot less that can fail. Um, an electric motor and, you know, uh, uh, electric motors and batteries are very simple. <laughs> Test out this acceleration boost. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like your own personal amusement park ride. So much fun. <laughs> no issue at all getting up to speed. And the roll on acceleration is amazing too. Just, you know, when you have a, a gas engine and like you all of a sudden mash the, the throttle, there's a moment of hesitation while the engine kind of thinks about where to rev, or gear to put it in. But with an EV, you just hit the throttle, boom, you just take right off. Okay, so yeah, now that we got the acceleration out of the way, let's talk about one of the other uh, great aspects of a Tesla is the amazing autopilot, which is traffic aware cruise control. So when the steering wheel is highlighted in gray, that means autopilot is available. So I'm gonna push down this stock twice the steering wheel is now highlighted in blue, that means autopilot is activated. Autopilot is traffic or cruise control, which allows the uh, Tesla to brake, accelerate, and steer in its own lane. It's mainly uh, designed to be used on highways like this, uh, but autopilot can be used on regular roads. I use it on regular roads, but you have to be extra diligent. Sometimes we can get a false sense of uh, safety with these systems, but you really need to pay attention. Uh, sometimes a car will get confused, it won't see something. <clears throat> it won't see something and you're gonna have to stop for the vehicle it might get confused maybe the lines of the road aren't clear and it might start veering in the other lane but uh, you're in supervisor mode the car is taking the workload of driving off of you and you're just supervising and the car is doing the work for you and that just takes a huge mental workload off you just in that aspect um, 
Uh, if you drive in stop and go traffic, you commute on the highway, uh, the autopilot is an absolute must. There are limitations, you know, it's not going to stop for red lights, it's not going to stop for stop signs, you're going to have to disengage and stop it. But just as long as there's traffic stopping in front of you, it will stop and move the flow of traffic. So you can get a lot of mileage on autopilot, especially on the highway, uh, for hours. And every once in a while it'll uh, give what we call a nag, it'll say, hey, you know, jiggle the wheel a little bit, pay attention. There's a camera right here as well, so if you start, you know, not paying attention, you start messing with the screen too much, it can tell you looking at the screen and it'll give you a warning, hey, pay attention. If you don't, you know, react to the nags, you don't pay attention, it will disengage the autopilot and it won't be available until the next driving session. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's great. It's not going to take hairpin corners, but it does a pretty good job following the bends in the road. Um, like I said, you just need to pay attention and be diligent and be ready to take over and intervene in case the system gets confused. Well, that pretty much sums up our little drive in this uh, Tesla Model 3 Long Range with the Acceleration Boost Upgrade. Lots of fun. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.